Wish you had an AI assistant right inside your Microsoft Word. Well, in this video, I will show you how to enable Microsoft Copilot in Word and why you might not see it yet. And most importantly, whether it even worth it or not. By the end of this tutorial, you will know how to get that Copilot icon to show up and what my experience has been with this new feature. Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and you are watching Technoholic. Let's get started. Alright, so here you can see I already have opened Microsoft Word. First of all, I would suggest you to make sure you are signed in with your Microsoft 365 account that have Copilot. Not everyone get Copilot by default. For home users, you currently need an active Microsoft 365 subscription. It can be a personal or family subscription that include Microsoft Copilot, which Microsoft has been rolling it out to their subscribers. Now, when we talk about the business or enterprise users, your organization needs to have purchased Microsoft 365 Copilot add-on. So in professional case, there is an extra license that one need to buy. Okay, enough of a talk. Let's talk about one need to buy. Okay, so let's check if you already have Microsoft Copilot license available or not. So here you can see in my screen. I know I already have, but let me show you how you can also check it. So for that, let's click here on file and then go to account. Now here, as I was mentioning, please make sure you are logged in with the account that have Microsoft 365. And once you are logged in, you need to see the product of your license. So here I can see. And as I said, if you are using work account, you might need to check with your IT admin that you indeed have Copilot license assigned. The Copilot feature is usually an add-on you should able to see this Microsoft Copilot icon available in your licensing package. And if you see this option, still do not find Copilot, then the next thing here, what we can do is make sure our Microsoft Office is up to date as Copilot only show up on the latest builds of Office. Click on update option and update now. So when we click on update now, then you will see Office will start downloading the packages from internet. The package will contain added features as well as security update. So in this process, you might require to wait for a while till the office download all the updates. Okay, so now our office is up to date. And still, if you are not able to see Copilot option, then the next setting that you can check for is by going in file. Then let's click here on option. And in option, we need to click on trust center. Now let's click on trust center setting then go to privacy option and in privacy option we need to go to privacy settings and then scroll your cursor down and here you need to make sure that the connected experiences are checked in or turned on so if this option is turned off then you're not going to see any connected experience from office so let me actually quickly disable it so that i can show you what does this function do so now here you can see i disabled all the connected features now it is asking us to restart the office. So let me actually quickly do that. And once I do that, I would not able to see the Copilot experience. So if I click here, you can see it is asking me to enable these experience by going here in privacy setting and then um, enabling the connected experience. So let me again click here on turn all connected experiences. And then let's also check these options to expand the capability of it. Now again, let's click OK. And again, I require to restart my office. And there we go. So now again, if I click on Copilot, I should be able to use it. All right. Now let's talk about the situation when you are using Office 365 in web. So in that scenario, if you are not getting Copilot option, and in Office Web, if you do not see Copilot option, then I would suggest you to try refreshing or clearing your browser cookie. If let's say you are using Google Chrome, click on these three dots and then go to history. Again, click on history. And then here we need to click on delete browsing data, but make sure you have checked on these two options, which is cookies and other site data, as well as cache images and file. And then from time range, I would suggest you to go for either all time or at least four weeks. Then hit on delete data. This will delete existing data or cache available in your browser. 
as occasionally copilot on web need third party cookies enabled to validate your license so just a head up if you prefer browser version of word now if your account is eligible and word is updated you should see copilot look at top right corner of this word ribbon in home tab you should see copilot icon it look like a little multicolored loop or an ai symbol in some cases it might appear as a sidebar welcome message when word start and here it is copilot in word is now enabled and ready to help if you click that copilot icon a sidebar opens where you can ask copilot to draft something or summarize your document so let's take some example and for that i already have downloaded a sample document here so you can see this document is quite a big and let's take a help of copilot to summarize it so i just hit on copilot and here i'm gonna ask summarize this doc which is really awesome because you can see here the amount of content this page have which i would say is too much i mean i really need at least half an hour to go through so i'm gonna say summarize this doc and then and then i'm gonna hit send now here you can see how beautifully copilot is summarizing this document and then it talks about this document so as a comprehensive template for preparing for IEEE sponsored conferences and then it talks about all the necessary things that is inside this and then um, here we have an option either to insert it or even we can further tweak it or you know you can do so many things and you also have an option to like it or dislike it or you can also insert it so if I click on insert it will be inserting it inside this document and the place where it inserted actually is where I have put my cursor I think the best way it should be it here on the bottom and now I can enter page break and let's insert it here and there we go finally we can see the whole summary of this document which is really awesome the copilot not only can be used in case of when you would like to edit the data of existing word file but you can also ask ai to create something which is new and then ai will generate it for us for example in this case uh, this is what i ask ai to do which is you know creating a quick happy birthday poem for little star so it is that capable and then always you can select it and then can ask to modify it further for example i would like to create it for my niece and her name is mahi so i'm gonna write mahi i'm gonna say create this for my little niece mahi she just turned three and now i'm gonna fine tune this and there we go so here we can see the heading got changed and now i'm gonna see more personal touch to this for example first one is the name and then here i can also see three year old wanda so this is now completely customized for me isn't it cool guys and then always you can call copilot and then can do further modification just like what we see in that long document i mean not only you have editing capability but you can generate content as well so your word is now became very smart guys now at the same time i would say copilot is not magic sometimes the suggestions are generic or it may misunderstood what you want think of it as a writing aid rather than replacement for doing the work in my test i found it especially helpful for generating summaries and outline but when i ask it to create content that is very niche topic it produced some inaccuracy so you still need to fact check and edit the output but as i said in most of the scenario it work flawlessly and i'm also expecting with time the performance and accuracy of this copilot will further improve now about the cost as i said if you already have office personal and office family it comes with certain credit that will be added to your account every month if you are a business user you need to pay around 30 dollar per user per month and if you are using office perpetual then in that case you may not able to have it because this is more of connected experience which generally the perpetual version of office always miss 
Personally, I found Copilot worth it when it is free or already included in my plan because it does make certain tasks easier and it's just cool to have AI assisted you directly in Word. But if I had to pay extra out of pocket, I would only do if I was routinely using Word Office to draft long reports, email, etc. So to recap, we just showed you how to get Microsoft Copilot enabled in your Word. We also discussed what kind of license you need to have. And if you have got certain kind of license, then you may also require to buy it separately and why you might not see it yet. And we also saw two use case scenario where we are editing or trying to extract information out of already created document versus where we have used AI to create entirely new document. And in the end, I gave you my honest thought on whether Copilot is worth using or not. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. It really helped the channel to grow. And also I would recommend you to subscribe for more tech how-to and tips as I have got more AI tools tutorial coming up that you won't want to miss. Also do let us know in comment down below your experience of Copilot in Word or other Office apps. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Till then, you take care and bye-bye.